Hello Solar Eclipse Timer users, this is Dr. Telepin again. Today I am checking back in with you from inside of my observatory that's in my backyard. This is where I do my regular astronomy. I'm doing this introduction in the dome so that the background is not a distraction and so I can have better control of the audio since I can't use a microphone with this camera. Plus, inside of the spherical dome is perfect for a spherical camera. So use your mouse to scroll around and see my setup. I can't do my regular introduction because regular video does not merge well with the 360 degree spherical eclipse movie that I want to post. I'm recording this intro with the spherical camera called the 360 Fly, which I used at the eclipse. I want to make some quick teaching points about using a spherical camera at an eclipse. One, it has a huge field of view. The sunlight is not magnified and focused, so you do not need a solar filter during the partial phases. Two, use a tripod that does not have large handles that will stick out into the spherical field of view. I used this tripod at the eclipse because after leveling it and locking down the tripod head, the handles can be removed. This tripod head has extra friction adjustments in addition to the control handles. You can see the fly on the tripod if you watch my other Eclipse site video recorded with a spinning camera. I will make a card at the end of this video that will link to that video. Three, go to the Eclipse with a torpedo level and a compass. The level is used to level the tripod head and the compass is used to allow you to understand the orientation so later you can explain the cardinal directions to your viewers. Start your camera right before totality. I used the three minute before C2 announcement in my solar eclipse timer app to remind me to start the camera. Five, face the camera and do a quick introduction, narration, and describe the cardinal directions right at the start of your recording. Explain landmarks in the video that will mark north, east, west, and south for your viewers. This way, you will have this information recorded with the same background and audio balance. Believe me, you will be happy that you have this done. I learned from my mistake of not doing it on Eclipse Day. That's why I'm doing it now. The spherical cameras seem to come with basic editing programs that allow you to do simple cuts and merges, but recording additional content later and adding it is tricky when working with spherical video files. If you look online at amateur 360 degree eclipse videos, they just start. There's no introduction and no orientation. That's because it's relatively easy to just upload the video but it is difficult to edit them and title them. In my Eclipse video, this is the orientation. The two small cabin roof peaks and the black and white food trailer is in the direction of northwest. This is the direction of the shadow approach. Just before totality and at the start of totality, you will see that this horizon is darker. As the Eclipse progresses, you will see this horizon get lighter as the southeastern horizon gets darker. As you scroll around, you will see a white sheet with a dark stripe on the ground. The dark stripe in the center of the sheet marks the axis of the path of the shadow. At the end of that sheet, it's pointing towards the southeast, about 120 degrees by compass reading. That's it. Enjoy the view, and let me say, Eclipse event, open app. Look at it. Second contact in 60 seconds. All right, look for shadow bands. Shadow bands. Look for shadow bands. Shadow bands. We see, there they are. You see them? They're very faint. Look at the white sheets. You see them? Look at them. They're going the opposite way to shadow. They're going the opposite way to shadow. Well, they, they, have, they have a lot of different motion to them. 40 seconds. Look at them. Look at the shadow bands. Are we recording that? Look at the. Wait, 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 wait,
It's going to be over in 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Southeast. I hope you enjoyed this solar eclipse timer episode and see my eclipse observing site with the 360 degree spherical view. The 360 degree technique is interesting but does present some editing problems. Please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button below and also click the little bell that pops up. Then you will be notified when I release new Eclipse videos. I plan to make this channel the best channel on YouTube when it comes to preparing people on how to enjoy a total solar eclipse. Post comments and questions. Thanks again. I appreciate your time.